goodness, this time I did not forget to turn my fan down because uh, I pretty much always have my fan on unless I'm recording because my room gets hotter than a Georgia day, you guys. But welcome back to Sablecraft. If you can see the, uh, the levels down there, you should know I have been mining, absolutely mining up a storm and oh my goodness did we get a lot of real good stuff as you can see my diamond pickaxe is about one hit away from breaking so I put all these stuff that we need I've I did a little bit of prep before the episode this time so that way hopefully I can kind of accomplish more stuff um, all right pinecone you're great today Okay, that works. Um, <laughs> I swear, they have now moved from that corner. The second I introduced Pinecone to Fig, that was it. They just went into their corner and they're just doing their little deer thing. It's adorable. But um, we need to make ourselves a new pickaxe right off the bat here. Boom, new pickaxe because of that one. I guess we can use that one until it breaks, which will probably be like one more hit for the most part. Okay, let's grab our ax as well. And I did go ahead and make these uh, in between episodes. All it is is like one piece of iron surrounded by like a uh, dark oak um, like slabs or something. Planks, slabs, one of those. But um, we do need to enchant. But in order, I don't want to just straight up enchant the ax because then we uh, can't add multiple enchantments onto it so i do want to go and find a village i do want to get some more books and then enchant the books and then uh, use the books on the axe that's kind of what i would like to do hello you too i now remember what i wanted to do today i wanted to get started on our orchard you guys we had this beautiful all plotted out little area for our orchard but we have no trees out there. So I do want to do that. And then I also want to maybe go and try to find some bees and not die and get a few bees. So that is kind of what is on the agenda for today. Just, you know, tidying up, just getting stuff done around the farm. And, um, oh yeah. Okay, so I did film a, uh, a episode where I showed you guys my new kitchen, but I just, I just really wasn't feeling it like you could tell that I was super just not in the mood I shouldn't have been recording and I watched it back and I'm like I sound so sad and I mean I was so um because I've just been having just not a great week um between being in the hospital and just everything else I've just it was I so I just decided to not publish that episode and I will show you we I honestly can't even remember what I showed you, but I didn't show you anymore because it's been almost a week. Um, okay. Wait. Yeah. Nope. Yes. There we go. <laughs> okay. So yes, we did. You saw me start to do the kitchen. So I did finish up the kitchen right now. Right. Right now I have all of this iron right here cooking up. And so that's how I've been getting some levels, but then I also did go and, um, and go mining, which you guys, I mined from here to Timbuktu, basically. Like, I actually mined from my strip mine all the way, all the way out there to the extreme hills. I even got a few emeralds because I was in the extreme hills and also the extreme hills plus uh, biomes. So, uh, let's go in here and I will show you everything that I got. So, you saw I had, I got almost a stack of diamonds. I got all this lapis. I got 11 emeralds. I got a whole bunch of this. Got a whole bunch of redstone. Got these resonating redstone crystal things. Um, got a lot of iron, some, a lot of gold, a lot of all these different ores. And so with all these different ores, I think most of them belong to like Tinker's construct. So I do want to go ahead and um, build, I like, I don't know. I don't even know how you go about doing anything with Tinker's Construct. Um, that is definitely something we are going to have to look up because I honestly, like I said, I have no, no clue. So we have all of this. Uh, let's grab this. Nope, grab it, grab it, grab that, grab that. Uh, this, and what else do we want to use? Um, I think we should also kind of get started on our little village. Um, I 
might have been in the last episode. Can I, oh, you can make them into planks. That is super useful. Okay, uh, let's grab... No, I did grab the oak. Um, let's do this, and then let's do this, and we have a crafting table with us now. And alrighty, we are off. Actually, I think I'm just going to leave the this kind of stuff in here because I don't really need it right now and then I will come back for it later really chrysanthemum all of you guys you have to ow thank you we have some owl friends that just decided to move in I don't know where they came from but look at them just flap flapping away they're so cute oh my gosh there's another one over here too <gasps> hi you are so adorable um there was one in the uh, the tree, like, right there. Oh, yeah, you can see another one up there. There were a few more. Um, I tried to take, grab them and put them in my house, and they flew up into the ceiling until they died. You guys, it was tragic. So we cannot have owl friends right now, unfortunately. So this is where i have been planning out the village i want to move bennett over here because you know from my house i can still like you can see in my house like you can see all the torches and everything so from here i could still see the village because i always worry about bennett i always worry about him like all the way over there in the woods like way back in there and i can't see him and it freaks me out i was like i just i i don't know um, I want to know that they're all okay, <laughs> you know? Welcome to creative mode where we will be doing our building extravaganza. <laughs> so I have, as you can see, already set up a small water fountain here and um, I just made like a small kind of just a little town square uh, and then I started plotting out where I'd want the houses. I think uh, because Bennett was our very first resident I mean he doesn't I mean he's not really a, a, I mean, he lives by us but he's not part of our village um I think I want to put Bennett right here so um in here this is what all the different woods look like there are we have quite a variety this this wood the eucalyptus wood turned into this pink wood and I was completely amazed I had no idea it was going to look like that it is beautiful so I am right now um, let's actually open up our backpack and put, um, this stuff in because we really don't need it right now. Ah, there we go. So for Bennett's house, I am kind of feeling, I think, these woods, maybe? Like, um, uh, um, I'm kind of still wanting to kind of go off of that, um, like the, like the contrast. But um, maybe just a little bit different. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And obviously, their houses are not going to be nearly at. Please place correctly. Thank you. Um, their houses are not going to be nearly as large as mine. One, two, three, four. Um, that would just be crazy to build them massive, massive houses. <laughs> because that house took me so, so, so long like a ridiculous amount of time. We're not even gonna discuss how long that house took me to make. But I will see you guys in a moment. I'm probably gonna just kind of time lapse this so you can see me uh, building the houses and kind of experimenting. And then once I have something, I will come back and we can look at our lovely village. So enjoy the music.
Alright everybody, we are finally back. That probably took me a little longer than it should, but um, I did remember that I wanted to give Bennett kind of like an outdoor area for like nice days, like today, uh, to sell his baked goods. So I did a uh, last minute right there, add that awning. It was a little bit complicated. I'm still not 100% sure on it. Like, hold on, let me try one last thing to see if I like it any better. Yeah, you know what? I like that a lot better. I think that looks a ton better, uh, having the, like, having the awning like that. So there we go. Bennett now has a new lovely house and I think um, I'm gonna decorate it and then I'll come right back to you guys and then we definitely need to come and move Bennett in over here so that way he is a little bit more safe because like I said I worry about him over there off on his own all in the woods with all the zombies and the skeletons and the spiders and the creepers. <laughs> Uh, it's a dangerous, dangerous world we live in, but I will see you guys and you will be seeing the lovely interior in three, two, one. And we are back. Are you ready to see the adorableness that is uh, Mr. Bennett's new fancy schmancy house? All right. Oh, you can see inside just a little bit there. Oh, chrysanthemum. You're on the roof girl okay so let's go in I am so excited to show you guys his house it's adorable so I did go into creative and use a few items uh, that I have not yet created uh, simply because I'm not gonna be using them it's just for aesthetic purposes uh, for his house so I went ahead and I made this adorable baking table for him I put in the same um, kind of like usable kitchen that I have so I mean if you know he really wanted to he really could cook and put food in here um, and then we have this cute little like vent head cabinet storage thing which I should put more cabinets in here but maybe at a later date um, and then we have this little kind of a little bit of a divide here we have a cute little table with a little teacup on it we have these uh, like awesome storage things these are so good I love them uh, and then we have the curtains and we have a double bed for you know if uh oh we have a shoe rack too isn't <laughs> so cute um you know we have the double bed in case Bennett decides to get married he uh he has another home for a lady friend chrysanthemum get down here oh, well I guess I can fly <laughs> oh silly me silly me I forgot I could fly okay e jump yep there we go okay we've got you so now you get to come why is the sheep are you eating my bushes Excuse you. Ye oh, yeah, it worked. Okay. <laughs> Stop eating my bushes. Okay, so I absolutely loved the way this turned out. Um, and then I think so that I don't have to always go inside his house to uh, get stuff that I need. Um, well, I forgot I was still flying. <laughs> um, I'm going to put uh, all the stuff that I will be buying from, like, from him out here. So I think we should uh, quickly fly over to I, I don't think I ever moved his stuff over for him I'm such a horrible uh, landlord but um, we are going to go fly over to his uh, his original residence that he set up shop in which was this uh, really dreary looking rogue dungeon and then we're gonna grab all his stuff and then we're going to uh, move it over and then we're going to go and let him know that he has a beautiful new home there we go, you guys. We have finally uh, put all of the stuff that Bennett needs to sell. We've moved all of his baked goods over to his new house. And so now I think it is time we go and we get Bennett. It's going to take probably quite some time to walk him all the way over there. Because we're going to have to lead him into our property. I'm, yeah, we have to lead him all the way into the property, over the bridge, up and up and up. So uh, I'm not going to make you uh, watch us um, lead Bennett all the way over there. But I will see you guys when we are back over at Bennett's house. Bennett, you have a new home! Ah, uh, here we are, and we have got Bennett with us. Come on, Bennett. This is your new upgraded home. What do you think, good sir? You should stay here as well, just for now, until I get uh, some security. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you, though I can 
see your house a lot better from where I am over there. Okay, one option I see nearby is Global Tech Security Incorporated on Windsor Court. Does that one sound good? Oh lord, you guys. Siri. That was absolutely terrifying, you guys. Oh my gosh, I was talking and then suddenly Siri started talking back. That's never happened to me before in my life. Oh my god. <laughs> but as I was saying, we have moved Bennett into his new chrysanthemum. Oh my gosh, chrysanthemum. Um, we have moved Bennett into his new lovely house. Chrysanthemum, come on. Get, how did you even get down there so fast? Oh my goodness. We have moved Bennett into his new lovely home, you guys. So I think um, I only have enough apples to create an apple sapling. But then I think in between episodes, what I'm going to do is I am going to kind of play around because I have this idea, this idea that I really want to build this totally awesome kind of like real con, like onsen hot spring hotel kind of a thing where people from all these other villages will come to our little establishment here and they will stay, they will relax, and then they will commission me to build them a house. Yes, I think Sable the Builder has a nice ring to it. But I will see you back over at my house in survival mode where we will um, create our little uh, apple tree sapling. Ah, uh, good morning. I decided to sleep so that nothing would spawn. And now I believe um, we left all of our... Um, the saplings and everything in our little windmill storage shed thingy. So we are going to head over there now. We're going to bounce along on the path, trying to hit as many of the paved paths as possible so that I can run a little bit faster. I think I dropped, yeah, I did. I dropped all of it in here. And then I think we should also turn these uh, pumpkins into seeds. Yep. And then we should go plant those. But in order to do that, we need to make a hose, which is like two of those. Two or three of those? Two, three? I don't know. Okay. Uh, I think it's like this and then like that. Yes. Okay. Perfection. We have got one. Let's put that stick back where it came from. Boom. So now we're going to have our lovely pumpkins. But I believe in order to make saplings, you need like an oak sapling. And then like almost like kind of like you like put it like that and then you do like apples <gasps> yes okay i remember i can't believe i remember that i am actually astounded right now that i remember how to make a sapling from forever ago okay so we are going to bounce on over here to um sable's orchard cute <laughs> i think actually the apple tree i want to put it here time to plant our apple sapling and hopefully it will grow here Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I, bone meal, I don't know what happened. I think some hardcore configuration has disabled bone meal, which is driving me absolutely insane. Huh. So I've noticed this, you guys, that the uh, just enough, like, like the JEI or whatever thingy disappears on me all the time now every time i log in it disappears i totally freaked out the first time it happened to me i could not figure out how to get it back but if this ever happens to you watch so you hold down control and you hit o and boom it comes back you guys i don't know why it does that i've noticed that that with the last update that i did that it just disappears every time i log in no clue why but it is back well it appears we are just going to have have to wait i keep trying the bone meal but it just it doesn't work so might as well stop trying <sighs> but that is okay i guess we're just like i said just gonna have to wait for it to grow so i did plant all of this sugar cane and holy moly it grew real fast you guys so at least this still grows um 
relatively fast and I don't need to use like I don't think you can use bone meal actually on sugar cane I don't know I don't remember but so I'm going to harvest this up and then I think we should go and plant our pumpkins Alrighty, we are ready to plant the pumpkins so I think one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Ooh, we got strawberry seeds. Okay. And then I think if you plant it like every, oh, a seedy place. <laughs> I see, I see what you did there, Minecraft. So then I think if we plant it like every other, it should, it should be all right. I think, I don't know. Cause I know pumpkins definitely do need uh, some room to grow. They are, um, they are quite large vegetables, fruit. Is a pumpkin a fruit or is it a vegetable? I feel like I should know this. Ah, there we go. Our lovely pumpkins are, oh, we have like, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them? Eight growing? That's pretty good. We will be getting tons of pumpkins and you know what that means? Tons of pumpkin pie, my favorite in Minecraft and in real life. I absolutely love pie in general, but unfortunately, um, I really cannot have pie all that often anymore now with all of my stomach issues. Um, like I said before, being disabled sucks. But even though uh, most pumpkin pies I cannot eat occasionally, I will find a baker that will make sugar-free pumpkin pie, which is still amazing. I don't know why people have to put sugar in everything. This is something that now that I um actually developed like my stomach condition has worsened and i am now completely sugar intolerant as well and this is something that drives me insane they put sugar in everything every thing things that was, should not have sugar have sugar it is blows my mind every time i go to the grocery store it takes me like three hours to go through the grocery store you guys because i have to read like the label of everything and you have to then not only look for just sugar but then I have to also look for sugar derivatives as well um like sometimes I'll put like you know glucose syrup or something in it and I'm like no you can't do that you can't do it <laughs> or they put like some chemical compound of sugar and um just being my body oh my gosh our apple tree you guys look at it <gasps> Wow, it grew. Okay, that would have been a waste to use bone meal on it. Holy cow, I am so excited. We can make we can make apple pie. We can now make pumpkin pie. Um, we need to go find peaches. We need to go find all the fruits, all of them. We need to go find blackberries, raspberries, blueberries. We need to make all of the pies. But I think that is actually going to be it for today, you guys. I'm so hungry now. I want pie so so bad after this episode. <laughs> uh, if you uh, do happen to have a slice of pie, um, feel free to tweet me a picture of it so I can be totally jealous. I am on Twitter um, under Sable, I think it's just like Sable Adventures because Sable Pixel Adventures was too long. So tweet me a picture of any pie that you have at Sable Adventures and I will, uh, I will tweet you back and tell you how jealous I am of you and your pie eating days. But until then, you guys, I will see you later and please leave a like on this video so that way I know that you are enjoying Sablecraft just as much as I am. Bye!